Welcome everybody to Clock Space. It's time to clock in for a, another adventure in art and vlogging. Today, uh, you know, I just wanted to talk about some of the different things I've been thinking about. I wasn't really sure what to do with my with my video, and I, I created this channel just to just to vlog about some of the things that we've been doing and some of the adventures we've been doing as a family, but I don't do them all the time. I work full time. And so it's kind of hard to get out and do videos all the time and go on big adventures and like some of the other vloggers that you see on YouTube. But I am a graphic designer and I've got a whole lot of projects that I want to do. I, I, I want to do more art projects and I want to do a lot of graphic design and I have a whole list of projects that I want to that I want to tackle and I want to try to rotate through these projects all the time so I'm constantly doing new things but all always doing the projects that I like to do. So I thought that I would change up my videos a little bit and show some art projects that I'm working on and do a video for every project that I start and I'm not really intending to show how how to do these projects or like a I don't I don't mean to be a teacher and, and show step-by-step -step processes but maybe by watching my videos you can see kind of what I'm doing and maybe it will help you if you're doing some art and seeing how I do it and maybe involve some of these implement some of these changes into your processes I don't know but I just thought it would be a cool way to show some sort of vlogging about art and not just a sped up uh, video of what I'm doing. I will put some of that in there. I'll have some, you know, sped up portions showing because you don't want to see the whole process of me painting or drawing. But I do intend to have more of a, a different format than just sped up art. Um, by showing me talking about what I'm doing, um, having my face on the camera, and uh, explaining what's going on, you know, not just a sped up uh, drawing. So uh, with that, you know, uh, today I thought I'd do a abstract painting. I've been doing a lot of abstract paintings for a while now. Um, well, maybe not a lot, but I really liked the look of some of the modern art style abstract painting pieces that I've seen in some of the furniture stores and I, I used to do a lot of art where I was like what's the point of doing this nobody's gonna hang this on their wall and I really liked how abstract painting is something that just goes so well with furnishings and home improvement and just making your living space look better um, I did this piece um, 
just kind of an abstract wash of different um, layering techniques and splattering paint and uh, mixing paint and throwing it onto the canvas. And I really like the look of, of these kinds of abstracts and just being a little more creative. Here's another example of an of a abstract piece I did. Uh, this one is, a, is slightly different. I used some different techniques in this one. Um, you can see some of the, the details here, just some of the different texturing techniques and some, just some of the nice paint strokes, I guess, to get this going. Um, each different piece that I do comes from a different idea that I have. And, and for this, I wasn't really sure what I wanted to do. Um, I like the nice solid black lines and just the, the action of the, the strokes that I'm doing. Um, the, this one was all basically themed around downtown Seattle. And this is actually a map of some of the streets around Seattle Science Center. And this little red blotch right here is where the Space Needle would be. Um, these are the roads that go past the Space Needle, Fifth Avenue, Broad Street, Denny Avenue. This is a map of downtown Seattle. But I just thought it would look cool if I gave some texture and color and just made it kind of a modern piece. Here's another example of that wash kind of a thrown on art paint onto the canvas kind of thing. I also integrated some of my like tattoo style tribal design in here, just morphing right into the splattered paint, which I think gives it a really cool effect. I want to do some more styles like this. Um, this is kind of just an evolution of the two paintings that I just showed. All of these paintings are for sale, by the way, too. Um, these three paintings are range in different um, price points, so if, if you are interested in one of these paintings, hit me up and I'll uh, and we can discuss uh, how to purchase and, and ship these to you. Um, when I do these, I, this one I really didn't know what I was going to be doing. Uh, I just knew the shape of the canvas and, and just started applying paint, and then it came to me that I really wanted to throw on some paint and just be a little more creative get that action going and and then I was working on this tattoo design for for my brother actually and thought you know this would be really cool to incorporate into a painting and uh, that's how this one came to be um, today I want to work on an art project of doing an abstract painting but it is really hot outside we live in a in not a small apartment but it's uh, it's kind of a, like a small single-family home but uh, it's not very conducive to doing a lot of throwing of paint, and I don't want to ruin anything in here. So I would have to go out to the garage, and it's really hot out there. Too hot to be working in the garage doing painting. And uh, the paint dries a little slower in the heat, too. So I thought today that I would just take pictures of some of the details and do kind of a Photoshop collage of some of the details and form one of my abstract paintings digitally. Um, I thought that would be a good segue into doing my first kind of art video like this. And I don't really know how this is gonna proceed, but hopefully it'll be interesting and cool. And hopefully, usually usually whatever I start, I, I feel like I, I achieve a end result that I can be proud of. So hopefully that will be what happens in this case too. Um, to start out, um, you know, I thought sometimes we go on these little family adventures and I will see something that, that grabs my attention and, I, and I'll take a photo of it, like a, a small detail or something that just looks really cool. I don't usually show these photos in, in you know, photo albums or anything like that. It's just some cool little detail that I've taken a photo of. And this is kind of an example of that. It basically looks like one of my abstract paintings. I saw this and it was some stained glass. The light was shining down on the ground and 
giving this really cool um, texture that basically looked like one of my abstract paintings. Um, I really like the colors that are going on here, and so I thought I would do this every time I go out on a trip, see if I can find some sort of like detail that I like or something that would just turn into a really cool painting and snap a picture of it and turn into some art later. Um, so I'm going to try and take some of the, the clips that I've taken from some of the details of some of the paint swatches that I've actually made with real brushes and real paint and apply them to this photo that I've taken of details from this. This was actually taken at the California Science Center. We went to see the Space Shuttle Endeavor and we were waiting in line for the Apollo 11 50th anniversary IMAX movie. And this is what happens on the ground there. And so I thought I would uh, apply some real paint strokes from some of my real paintings and do it digitally to this format that's already in my photo and uh, see how that turns out.
So that about does it. I think it turned out pretty good. Uh, basically looks like a painting. And technically I did paint it because all these brush strokes are, are my brush strokes. I just used Photoshop and my knowledge of Photoshop to create a, you know, abstract painting. Uh, I plan to print this on canvas pot perhaps. Um, right now I've already loaded it up to Society6 and I'll put the link in the description box below to uh, buy any prints or they've, they've got all kinds of products on there that you can apply this image to and, and buy prints of. Um, but yeah, this is a, uh, a 30 by 22 inch piece and uh, I hope that you enjoyed watching and if you liked this please like subscribe and share and hit that notification bell if you want to see more artwork like this and uh, give me a thumbs up if you like it for now though that will be it and so I'm gonna have to say clock out <laughs>